Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Jordan. Thanks so much for watching today. Welcome back to the channel if you've been here before, and if not, welcome to the channel. So, I've got a song lesson for you guys today, Faithful God by I Am They, and they are an amazing band. They're amazing musicians, and I have listened to uh, both their current albums so far quite a few times, and I love their music. So, um, I hope I don't get copyright claimed because this thing is, this song is very new. It's right out of the gate, almost. So I'm excited to share it with you, but right before we get started, if you guys have a song that you would like um, help with and you just need help with this you know, particular part of the song, please leave it in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you quickly. Um, if you guys have a song that you would like me to do a video lesson of, please leave it in the comments. And if I really like it, I might do that. I would love some help finding some new music. That would be great. Um, but jumping right into the song, this is in the key of C. So first chord we're going to use, obviously, our root. It's going to be C, and then F, and then G, and then A minor. So we're going to use those four chords, and then I'm going to use a couple of different variations of them. So C, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll drop my pinky down on the third fret of the E string when I play the C, so it'll sound like this instead of... And then the same with the F a lot of times. And then G, I'm going to put both of those, uh, both my two fingers down here on the third fret, first and second strings, the E and the B. And then the E minor, I pretty much just play that, you know, just regular E minor. Um, and then the last way that I would play an F chord sometimes in this, I don't know if this would be an uh, uh, F over C or something like that. But I'm going to do what you would normally do for an F chord is, you know, these three fingers bar across the first two and then second fret and then third fret. But I like to play it um, with this C right here. So it just gives it a fuller, thicker sound. I like that. Um, and I might use that a little bit. I sometimes change chords that I don't know I'm changing to. So we're going to walk through the chords and then at the end I may or may not post a clip of me playing and singing this because um, I, I really can't do this song justice, but I'm going to walk through just kind of what the chord progressions would be. So let's get right into that. So for strumming on this particular song, I like to do a little bit of a palm mute on the first verse. kind of open it up when you get to the chorus with just full strumming, no muting. You get as much sustain as possible out of your guitar, which this guitar doesn't sustain very well. Um, but we're going to start with the F chord. So I am persuaded, then switch to a C and then to a G. So I'll hold that for a little bit and then back to an F. So that repeats twice. So from F to C to G to F. And then right before the chorus, it goes A minor back to G, and then it stays on G until you get to the chorus, which then those chords are F again, I will sing through fire and thunder to a C, because you are on my side, G, I trust you with my life, A minor to a G, and then F chord again, I know my story, it isn't over, even against all odds, back to a G, you are a faithful God. And then hold that F, and then C, your faithful God, back to a G. And then you'll run into the second verse. So that's the chorus, or the first verse to the chorus to the second verse. Now, skipping over the second verse, instead of ending on that G chord, you are a faithful God, you're going to end on a C. You are a faithful God. Or at least this is as best as I could figure out listening to the actual recording of it like 10 times through something like that. Now the bridge is going to change just a little bit the second time we sing it through. We're going to start on an F. And I am convinced F that your promises G will hold together. A minor and I will dwell in the hope C of your love G forever. And then the second time through it changes just a little bit. F to G to A minor back to G, and instead we're going to say, and I will dwell, dwell in your love. Hold it out, and then back into the last chorus, which is going to start on an F again. 
Now after the last chorus is where I like to just kind of hold that pinky down on that third fret on the E string. So when you get to the end of the last chorus, you blend those chords because you're going to play back and forth between the F, the C, and the G quite a bit as you know they're singing those last you are faithful, you are faithful God um, and just kind of holding on to it like that. I just like to use you know just kind of land that pinky down there just kind of plant it and stay there and even when you switch to an A minor you can make that work or you can lift off there and it just kind of gives it a unique sound so that's kind of how I like to play it all right everybody thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it once again my name is Jordan if you guys haven't already please hit like and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future so my hands are freezing because it's fall here and I'm cold so I'm gonna catch you guys later we'll see y'all I will sing through fire and thunder.